the human mind possesses natural shields that serve to protect it from the intrusion of subtle energetic and psychic influences. However, when allowed to develop and accumulate, negative emotions and thoughts create holes in the human energetic field aura. Spirit entities take advantage of these energetic holes to gain access into an individual's mind. This is the exact same way that curses find their way inside an individual's body, giving birth to an energetic breakdown that results in the destruction of the body's shen, mind and thoughts, qi, life force energy, and jing, tissues and cells. When a spirit entity approaches a vulnerable individual, it will use whatever existing core images that it can find to gain access into the human mind. It will choose the strongest natural core image available, sexual fantasies, anger and rage, grief and resentment, fears and phobias, depression and despair, obsession and compulsion, etc. During a psychic attack all of the victim's existing weaknesses will be exploited and used against them. The urges will come in waves, always strongest at the worst possible time, when the victim is at their weakest. These intelligently orchestrated assaults trigger and subconsciously activate the victim's deep-seated vices and uncontrolled impulses, giving the negative entity power and access to the victim's life force energy. For example, substance abuse weakens the energy body defenses and erodes an individual's natural psychic shields. Once the body's natural shields are weakened, the individual becomes vulnerable to the invasion and influence of negative spirit entities. Through implanting core images spirit entities are able to manipulate and eventually take control of a victim's Jing, Qi, and Shen. This process is described as follows. Implanting core images, all spirit entities have the ability to implant thought intentions into an individual via their already active core issues. In other words, if the individual struggles internally with thoughts of lust, the spirit entity can intensify these ideas and implant additional thoughts and desires in order to intensify the pre-existing stimuli. This turns minor feelings of desire into obsessive lust and allows the spirit entity to have greater control over its host. Taking control, most sorcerers believe that the spirit entity will reach through a victim's core images and sink its own energetic connection into the ethereal substance of the victim's energy body. This allows the spirit entity to have a powerful mind-body connection with the victim. When the victim obeys these specific compulsions of the spirit entity, he or she is then immediately rewarded with pleasurable feelings of endorphin releases and experience the short-lived feelings of euphoria. If the victim resists the specific compulsions of the spirit entity, they are then immediately punished with psychic-induced anxiety and physical manifestations such as nausea, headaches, vertigo, etc. Until he or she submits to the spirit entity's compulsion. Spirit entities need places of dark and quiet in order to manifest at the subtle levels where they can more easily affect the victim's mind. This is why the presence of light and sound. 13 intensity of cultivate a strong feeling feelings and emotional attachment to a specific idea or feeling the specific idea cultivate the ability to form a or feeling is then intensity of energetically and strong clear and steady mental spiritually visualization image of the specific idea or feeling introduced into the other person's focus the attention on one subconscious mind Intensity of concentration specific idea or feeling, shutting eye out all other ideas and influences. Figure 1.9. The three principal factors of psychic influence. While in itself is not enough to break a psychic attack does however make it more difficult for the spirit entities to maintain control. The spirit entities do most of their work of implanting core images and taking control while the victims are asleep. These manifest as disturbing dreams centered around fear, sexual desire and guilt. Most victims are not aware while they are dreaming that this energetic manipulation is occurring. Negative spirit entities may also induce night terrors through this form of telepathic dream manipulation in order to cause the victim to discharge enormous amounts of emotional energy. This discharged energy is then absorbed by the negative spirit entity as food. Length of attack, the average psychic attack lasts about 30 days and then tapers off. 
However, subsequent attacks may occur afterwards, depending largely on the source, the nature of the attack and the reason why it was initiated. Also a determined